Hello there and welcome to Strategic Command World War II War in Europe as we begin our new series against AI. This time we are going to play the same scenario 1939 but not as Axis but as Allies and of course it's going to be on the expert difficulty with all the bonuses granted to the AI. So let's go in, everything is checked. Alright, so let's see what will happen. But let's first things first. I will of course talk about strategy during this very first turn for the allies. Because you have to kind of play a little bit different than playing Axis for many reasons, especially because we are considering the extra experience. Well, it's a bit, little bit tougher to actually play as allies, so we have to compensate for it for some reason. But first of all, let's take a look at the invasion that is occurring in here. Bit moving, okay. Tactical bombers are going ham on me already. Only one point. Wow, that's nice. Two points lost. Good job. Good job. Army Radom, I guess. Ooh. And that's the experience for you. No HQ on a... Wow. I wish I could do that. Multiplayer games. Nice job. Escape to Danzig. Enter Danzig. You can survive that. But we are still holding to Gdynia. To the port of Gdynia. The points just... Oh, beautiful, beautiful. That's a good job. That's a nice job. Yes, as long as you survive, he has to waste another attack on you. Unfortunately, my fortifications will not hold. And what's in front of Warsaw is those two cavalry brigades, which are actually worse than garrisons. And they are only better when it comes to uh, hit points they do have. So Poznan has been mauled. It means they will not have two tanks ready to attack Warsaw next turn. We still can make it seems at least. We're dead, but that's alright. Ooh! You're dead, sure. Okay, brother. All right. You reinforce your guys. I will take this mine for myself. Polish morale suffers from battlefield losses. That's all right. And we are declaring war on the evil Axis ally. Axis, Axis ally. Axis AI, of course. And British industry is starting to work. Whoa. Take for some time, but it's all right. Which army, which army, Pomorze army, Pomorska cavalry brigade, Kraków army and Krakowska cavalry brigade destroyed. Polish morale suffers, France and United Kingdom. Declare war. Yes, we are at war. And as per usual, you want to read it, those decisions, events, or other pop ups. Pause the video. Just like this. Of course, we are going to send a BF to France. Because, obviously, moving USA. USA 8% potentially away from allies is no go. So 
Let's do that. German invasion of Poland is well underway. Do we want to invade? And I want to keep USSR's um, mobilization as high as possible, especially against AI. So this is the only time I'm going to actually say decrease its mobilization because it will decrease it by around 5%. We are going to invade because that's a bit too important to miss on two. Now, let's start maybe in those powers that are not at war currently, which is USA. You are all in port, you are at which supply? Nine. Let's move you to ten instead. Actually, let's move you to twelve. Now, you are at twelve, you are at twelve. We are doing fine. A research. We are going to go air power only research. So, no thank you. Not really well, something I am looking forward to. No thank you. Air power only. And of course, economy only as well. So, let's go and invest. First, cheat into industrial technology. And that is it for the Americans. So the plan is just build excuse, build air power, help out the UK. Now, that's generally the plan that I'm going to go with. Now, for the Soviet Union, we need to look, take a look at the research first. No, thank you. No, thank you. And yes, thank you, but. That needs to happen immediately. Let's move armies around. I don't want core in Sebastopol. I need an army there. This army will do. And definitely, I don't want anyone in here. You will stay there. So, what's my plan for the USSR? It's pretty much simple. We need to hold out the Germans, and to do that, I need infantry uh, research to be topped off with anti aircraft defense and infantry weapons. Oh, you are moving south, for sure. We are going to make a first defensive line on the Dnieper River in the south because I want to protect my economy. As much so, it's the key city in here is Rostov. If we fail to keep it, we die. Pretty much that simple. And this is the only line that I will try to make to buy as much time as I can around here. And in the other sections, I'm just going to create speed bumps on key locations because the German AI will advance to the Moscow before the winter of 1941, that must be said, especially on this level. Now, we don't need anyone near Finland. I was thinking about creating a defensive line on uh, the uh, Dvina river, but that's not going to happen. Actually, it's more viable in a war in Europe instead of mm, uh, war at war because Riga is much more defensible position with only two hexes adjacent to it in front of uh, city because in front of the river because uh, in war at war you've actually got a land hex in here that is adjacent to Riga which is pretty bad. But Smolensk, yep, we'll create small defensive line in front of Smolensk, but otherwise that will be it. I will have two armies in Riga and the Dog of Pilis. Some speed bumps around here and defensive line will be created only near Leningrad. So, infantry weapons was bought. My next 
uh, investment will be actually not in tech, but in engineer unit. That's something worth on considering. We don't need you in Gilead. Means, do I need army in means to die there? Maybe an army is actually more important. We don't need to t really worry about it that much. And of course, you are going to be disbanded immediately. I don't need to worry about you as well. This is not important position as well. Okay. Okay, so now let's let's leave Poland for last. Ah, I would have forgotten about you. But you will need to be operated at one point when we will have some money to spare. Let's move into France and Britain at the same time. Let's call them both as it is. Let's grant you. Let's grant you. And let's grant. Let's not do anything with you. Now let's set mode to auto assist, the attach everyone first. So when it comes to defense of France, I'm not going to invest into anything into it because the only way we can defeat Germans is not through direct fight because there is no way. They've got quality advantage, they've got upgrade advantage, they've got HQs that will have 3 points of experience by the time they attack Russia. So what I need to do is actually defeat them the only way that we can, which is through supply. And shall I say, the lack of thereof, shall be honest. So what does it really mean? It means that I need Finland for that reason. And why do, why do I need Finland? Because I need supply, a source of supply for the Western Allies. And Finland is perfect for it because it's pretty damn close to the front line, at least in the north and in the center. And I need British supply because I need to have supply for my strategic bombers, both British and American ones. So that's pretty much the extent of my strategy when it comes to SSR. Save it by destroying Germany's supply. And speaking of supply and Germany, we have to also take under consideration Italy. And it's the greatest liability that Axis AI has that we can bring down Italy pretty damn quickly. So, I'm not going to defend France because BF is going to move immediately into the Egypt. That is the plan at least. And I need to consider that option as well. But now, as I've said, we need to invest into strategic bombers, which means we have to invest into tech as well. But speaking of tech, that's not really something I want. That's not really something I want. Mm, but I cannot, I really need to start buying some things. Investing into infantry because that will be actually useful. But I will start with Grand Attack Weapons because we can only invest one shit into it. And we are not in that kind of rush to actually reach. Uh, high level heavy bombers. So that's it for now. When it comes to British. I will move uh, British uh, BF to port and I will move those two garrisons to France because we need two units in some approximation next to Paris, but I don't really remember exactly the number of those. But we need them. You will move somewhere around here. You will not be used. I will move the French air power 
to the British Isles because there is a chance that they will actually survive. And now we have to take care of the rest. So, now let's move into. Let's interdict the German convoy route. Mm -hmm. And maybe you as well for now. The Germans will come out to play just like that. That I did not expect. Never seen that before. But we'll also need some units to go after the raiders in the west. You will still remain in port. I will send only one wizard here. We've got this battleship already. Maybe we'll catch some of the ships now. Actually, I want some ships in the south, I guess. I Actually, one more battleship will be helpful in the south. So we know that they can see me here. No, that's not really worth it. So I will probably lose some points because of that. So what kind of forces do I need in here? But you, we have to keep. Mm, actually, that's something also to consider. We might bring Italy into war quicker if we move enough ships around here in the uh, region ne next to Syracuse. But I'm not going. I'm not sure I want to actually do that. It's also something to consider now. I would love nothing more than to reinforce you, but we need to keep them happy. But let's start with moving this up. I will move all the French units to the Mediterranean because we end, of course, my carriers because I will need to sink Italian fleet. Because what's my plan is to take care of Northern Africa quickly before. Maybe not before, but definitely we are. I am planning to reach Tripoli around time the uh, Desert Africa Corp will arrive, and then go for Italy itself. That's a lot of planning to do, but that will happen. That, at least I believe. Now, the vessels, the vessels of France, really do not here. You are fine where you are. We need a garrison in. Oh, we can only reach here. So let's move here. In Tunis instead, but it will take some time. You will be transferred to Damascus. Mm -hmm. And I will need to buy Egyptian garrison, I guess. At one point. We are not. In that kind of rush yet. Carriers will get ready. Okay, so now France. France is going to invest its diplomatic cheat into Finland. That's first thing I'm going to do. Now let's move you out. Let's actually not move him out, but let's move you out. You can move in here and then move back one hex. Because armies, I don't want armies in here. So who can move where? You can move to Moonhouse. Got one, two, three, four. So I need. Okay, you are an army. So let's move you out. I think I can move in here and move back to Metz. Let's move you into here for now. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. One more MP, uh, two more MPs this turn, that's nice. Let's move you out. Let's move you out. And let's move you. 
you can move in here, you can move in here, you can move wherever you need to. So let's do that. Let's move it to Strasbourg. Here, 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 and here. We will move into Lille. You are going to go into Paris. And those guys will slowly move to the line here. So, how many rings do we have? One, two, three. Well, not really because one is going to east. Okay, so that's fine. I guess one more unit in the north though. That's okay. So we we'll have two units digging in, in here. Yeah, it makes sense. This is a bit worse hex to defend, so I'm going to start defending here. I mean, uh, not defending, but... Actually, I've forgotten to attach you with a few, but... Too late for now. Now, around here, let's move into Grenoble. You can stay in here. We will move into Dijon. Have some cores to arrive. There, but that's 48. Not going to bother with Monaco. Mm, that's fine. Okay, now. As we are done with France, we are done with. UK, are we? Can I upgrade one of my ships? That would be nice and beautiful. I move some extra naval assets there, but not too worried about it. Syracuse. Is it better? I, mean, I guess it's better to actually accumulate the ships around here. The AI usually moves them to the Adriatic, all of them. I will maybe scout with the French sub, but that's, as I said, a worry for later. And we need someone in here, we need someone here. Maybe French garrison to actually cover this issue. Yeah. And British garrison to Cairo. That makes sense. Me at least. Those two garrisons will move into France. Okay, and now Poland. So, first of all, let's disband you and you. You are in a good position to run, which is great. And you are in a great position. Actually, do something nice for once. Five entrenchment. That's good. Let's move you to Kutno. I know it's bad, but it's the best I can do. Can move you even to run more here, and that's very, very impressive when you think about it. If you, you are the best we have. So, you are going here. Let's swap you out. And let's enjoy those four points of entrenchment. Now, you can move somewhere in the front instead. Let's move you out here, let's move you closer. I want you, him to work as a speed bump for them and they can bypass him. If I stay in Poznan, so I'm not going to do that. We can work as speed bump as well. Let's actually do that. Now you, in front of also, yeah. Do I want you in here or in here? 
because this army will die. But the question is how will it die? Here or here? I think I'm going to go with army in here though. You will move to Radon for now and you will actually cover this hex. I will, do I want to force march him or do I want to operate him? Because we got you also. We can force march you in front of Warsaw. That seems great. I think about it. Let's do that. Let's go with you. And the remaining chip and peace will be actually invested into Finland. Because we can. Now. That's alright. We are slowly starting our economic voyage. I would love nothing more than to reinforce you, but we need to reinforce both of these guys. You will move to port first, because we need to upgrade you at some point. You can stay in here. We don't have enough ships around here yet. Okay. You can stay in here for now as well. Okay, so we are fine, I guess least for now. So that will be it for this turn. As per usual, I am going to start turns with ally uh, with uh, AI turn. So that will be it for now. We don't need you in here, do we? And we might stay there for now. Mm -hmm. So I need to consider where to put speed bumps. I think actually one more port, so we've got what? Four armies around here? Okay, we've got one core to spare. So you will move toward Riga, I guess. I guess that. We find our defensive line is looking somewhat uh, nice, which is strange, but Okay, and that will be it for this turn, so thank you for watching as we begin our new series against AI on expert difficulty level with all the bonuses granted to it, which is pretty brutal on this, uh, especially as allies, being as allies, but well, we got to do what we got to do. So, thank you once more and I will see you next time.